look what I got. Gonna open this up and show you. Package pretty well. These are lithium ion batteries. They look pretty good. They're supposed to be brand new. Lithium iron phosphate. That's the negative. I got four of them here and I have four more right there. This will give me 200 amp hours of lithium batteries and I have the BMS, battery management systems for them. Second battery is 3.46 so that's good. Third battery is 3.46. That jumped up to 4.7 so that's good. And the last battery it's 3.48. All right, we're in specs. It's all good. Next thing I want to do is to connect these in series so that those, because each one is supposed to be 100 amp hours. Each one of these is 100 amp hours. But as you saw, it's only a 3.46 or 4.748 battery per one. So I want to get 12. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 12. And it's going to be over. It's going to be in the 13 because of the 0.4s. So to get them in series, you go plus, minus, plus, minus. Now I got to get them to hold together. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put hose clamps all the way around here to keep them from sliding apart. Because when you put the screws in to connect these in series, if they slide or slip. You can damage these threads and break your connection there and then you ruin the battery. So we got to prevent that. Well, I got the hose clamps on. Got the start of my first battery. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So I got to put the strips on there. And then I'll have my first battery and it'll be equalizing out. There's the first battery put together. Still got to put these leads on for the battery management system. Get those leads on and then they'll, they'll plug into the back there. Then I got to mount this on there and that'll be my battery management system. We're getting there. Battery one assembled. Not quite complete. Yep. I have started working on building my second lithium ion battery. Got the screws down here, the plates to connect them in series. I got the hose clamps already put on. It's solid. Get this one done and I'll have my second battery assembled. And then I'll have to put on the BMS on each one. Then I can wire them into my system. Yeah, buddy.
bend these things because by themselves they're too long. You can see how long they are. So you have to bend them to get them to fit. And you want to try to get this so that it's as level as possible. Of course when you put a screw in that's going to help it. But you got to bend them enough to get the screw holes lined up. That's what we're trying to do here. Alrighty, there it is. I'll take, turn my voltmeter on. And put the positive in the positive. The negative in the negative. And look at that, I got 13.92 volts. How about that? A whole battery. The other one's 13.88. So they're within 0 .04 of each other, so I'll be fine. So I'll hook these up in parallel when the time comes. And we'll be rocking and rolling. Okay, so what I've done now is I've hooked up all the wiring here for my BMS. There's one black and then four reds, positive. So this is the main negative, has no other connections, it's not part of the series. So I put the B negative from the BMS here to this and then I put the black wire here and then I take the very next wire, I put it on positive and then positive, and then positive, and then positive. And then this will plug into there, but I'm not gonna plug it in until I get the batteries in the back, just before I wire everything together. And then you have your BMS connected for a 100 amp hour lithium ion battery, LIFEPO. Alrighty, the batteries are under there, so I gotta take the inverter off and the battery box apart. Let the festivities begin. Alright, the new batteries are in. Wired in parallel. Just gotta get the lid on the box, the front of the box, hook up the inverter to these wires. And we will be complete. Oh, and I gotta program the charge controller for lithium ion phosphate batteries. Dun da da da! Got the inverter hooked up, lid on the box. Don't like this being exposed, so I'm gonna just do the duct tape method. Got my duct tape right here, put that on, couple piece stripes, and Maybe do the same thing over here. That'll keep things from dropping down in there and maybe short out my batteries. But we'll be good.